Hi guys, Colin Potter here and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. How you doing guys? Hope you're all doing okay. Cool. Right, um, here in front of me is my um, flying buddy, uh, Simon Smith. He's just bought himself uh, a base model Spectrum DX6i and of course um, these models don't come with um, a backlight uh, so basically it's okay I mean indoors that's reasonably easy to read as long as you're looking at it in the right direction if I just bring it up to the camera there you are you can see the display there but it isn't particularly good in the sunlight you can't see it so a backlight is ideal uh, you can get a backlight kit for these radios from uh, Tech4RC um, I'll give you a link to their website at the end of the video so we've ordered a backlight kit which is here so I've um, seen a couple of YouTube videos on how to fit these things and um, I've just found a slightly easier method um, to do it so I'm, I'm going to just take you through it right now. I don't do a lot of these sort of videos so if I seem to be mumbling on uh, and don't make <coughs> a lot of sense, which I hope I will make sense because um, I'm sure you'll be able to follow this, especially, especially if you're a bit geeky and um, even as a dead beginner it's going to be a piece of cake so don't worry just bear with me right um, first thing to do which is a good idea is obviously make sure the power is off um, and both your sticks are in the middle because what we're going to do is we're going to use the original packing case that's the half with the holes for the batteries so basically straighten the area up like so, you see that, camera see that, yep, turn her upside down and then and then just slot her back into its packing case, okay, so I'm going to use the remote on the camera just to back off a little tad just so you can see what's going on. Right, the first thing we're going to do in fact, I'll bring the camera back in a little bit. Okay, just about there should do the trick. There's um, six screws. Okay, um, we got to undo this one here, um, two here, one here. Sorry, one there, one there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are the case screws. Now you want a decent screwdriver, decent Phillips screwdriver. One that's not going to slip off the heads of the screws while you're trying to undo them. And you're going to need one really thin. Uh, they're like a, you know these screwdriver sets you get with glasses when you buy them. It's got a really thin blade on it. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. So the first thing to do is to undo the six screws, sorry, first thing to do, sorry, is take the batteries out and they can go into these holes in the casing or in the packaging. Okay, so once the batteries are out, the cover can be slid back into place. Right, now we can start undoing these screws. The good thing is to magnetise your screwdriver, we use a magnetic screwdriver. So if you're dropping the screws all over the floor. Two, and I'm just going to pop them in the little space in the packaging so they don't roll all over the desk. I hope you guys can see this okay. 
Quest 4. And the last two are up by the antenna. Bum, 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 bum. Right. That's my son, you can probably hear. Having a good old time on Minecraft downstairs. So there's the six case screws removed. Now we do is we lift the case off, the back case. But be, try that again. Be very careful because just inside there are three um, connectors. Now I'll see if I can get the camera in there to see them. Now what I do, I shut my curtain because I'm pretty sure you might be able to see them a bit easier, especially if I do that. Right, now I'm going to point to these. There's one there, okay, and there's three just over here. And all you do is just place one finger on the printed circuit board and just gently pull and they'll just pop out. Okay. You might find some of them are a little bit on the tight side. But I have a tip that I'm going to show you. And there we go. That's those disconnected. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just back the camera off a little bit, like so. The next ones you want to undo, or disconnect, I'll take the camera right in again, so I can show you, there we go. There's this one here, this one here, this one there, that one there. And there's one, two, three over this side. But the first thing we need to do before we do any of that is disconnect the antenna PCB, which is this module here. Now to release this module, there is a screw. Okay, I'll just point to the screw. It's that one there. So we'll just undo that. Like so, again using a magnetic screwdriver. Now, basically, if you just take two fingers, like so, and then support the ball with the other finger and just wiggle and pull up, just very gently. And it comes apart like that. There's a little connector just there. I don't know if you can see that, you might be able to. Okay, so that can go to one side. Do 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 do. Right, now the next job is to undo these connectors. Now they are very tight, especially on a new model. Um, the reason they're tight, and a lot of people have difficulty getting them off, is that just behind the connector on this side are two release tabs. Um, and what I'll do now is I'll uh, I'll just do a little cutaway video just to show you how to release these. So I wouldn't recommend just getting hold of the leads holding the board and just wiggling and trying to pull them up because believe me they're really tight so I'll just do that now. Right I'm going to try and show you this as best as I can because um, I'm holding the camera one hand and the screwdriver the other. Uh, these connectors are really hard to pull out because you've got this little tab here okay and there's two one this side and you can see the other one over this side. Now what you find is best is that if you just very gently push the watch maker screwdriver, watch maker screwdriver, just push a thin screwdriver in between the plastic tab and the plug, 
and as you pull each end up first you'll find that it will come out really easy and I'll show you that now I'll just put the camera back okay so give me two seconds right the next thing to do is to uh, undo the seven connectors I'll just point them point to them uh, with something you can see there's one here one here one just behind a bunch of wires here one there there's a couple here and one just there look. the um, the power connector with the black and red wires that go into that block there you can't pull that out at all that is um, actually uh, soldered into place but what you can do is just unslot the power um, connector from the case and that can just sit in there quite happily out of the way. Now if you remember <clears throat> I showed you just now a trick how to remove these connectors with a screwdriver so that's what I'm going to do now I'm just going to slip the screwdriver down the back of the tab just a gentle pull and one side pops up just slip the screwdriver down the other side and there we go, first one's out. Now when you're doing this, just please be careful not to slip and, and damage the printing circuit board um, underneath. Um, because um, if you do that, then you'll end up uh, damaging your radio. But I've just released those couple of tabs and now that just unplugs really easily. I'll do the same for this one here. Just slide my screwdriver to the back, just unhook one corner and then unhook the other corner. Support the board and the connector pops out really easy. Right, I'll just do the same for these now. See how easy that comes out? I'll do the same for this one. I think this is the one I showed you first time round. There we go. Same with that one. release one corner and out she pops Maybe just a couple more here Oops. again support the radio there we go Because what they are, um, they're little, there you go, they're little locking tabs. And um, if you try and just pull up on them, they're just going to fight back. So this is the easiest way I found um, of disconnecting it all. So just make sure that all the plugs are disconnected from the circuit board, which they are. Power plugs, obviously taken off the side of the transmitter. Next thing to do is to undo, forget my pen, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six screws there. Don't undo these two at the moment because that's what holds the uh, LCD panel in place. Okay, we don't need to undo those so it's just the four. Okay, so we'll do that now. Again, popping the screws into a um, safe place in the polystyrene packaging. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. La -di -da 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 
One more there. I think I've got it. Did I get it? No. A couple more turns. There we go. Right. Now, the next thing to do is to, if you just tilt that up and then bring it forward. Ding, da, 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 da. There we have the LCD panel, but at the moment we've no backlight. So what I'll do, I'll get rid of the rest of the radio uh, for a minute, and then we'll concentrate on this piece. Okay, the next thing to do is to um, release this ribbon cable. All right. Now, again, with your um, thin-bladed screwdriver there's a little tab here okay and you just push that gently forward see that until it clicks don't push too hard on it otherwise you'll end up breaking the connector do that for both sides if I can just get the screwdriver on it and a an decent angle to show you okay see that it just clicks I'm just making sure that it's fully there we go and then what you want to do then is just very gently pull that ribbon cable free there we go right that's that bit now's the time you can undo these two screws in the centre the ones that I told you not to undo as yet but now, at this stage, you can undo them. And what this does, this releases the DX6i LCD display. Let's put that one there out of the way. Undo this one. There we go. Now if I just lift this up, there we go. I'll just back the camera out a little bit so you can see what I've got there. So we've now got the LCD display. Now there's two grey bits on here, two plastic bits. You don't need these, sometimes they're hot glued on, uh, which is quite easy to remove, but most of them are now most of them now are just um, just rest on there okay and that then gives you our panel which is completely free right right we'll just put the uh, LCD panel somewhere lay it on something nice and soft so the display doesn't get scratched and the next bit is turn this over then we'll undo our Turnergy backlight kit. Um, that's the actual LCD backlight. Um, there is a piece of foam, but um, don't use that because um, they reckon that's a bit too thick. So we'll discard that, or you can use it for something later on. Um, also in the packet we have a um, little piece of um, blue tack and we have some um, double sided um, foam sticky pads. Right, now the thing to do next is to get your foam sticky pad, you can see that. Uh, just peel off one side if I can find the peely offy bit there it is sorry for my out of camera shot alright and then what you need to do is if you notice on the circuit board there's two white lines there's one there and one there so all you need to do is just stick 
foam pads somewhere in the middle on each side. So if I do that now, peel off this one. Bum bum bum, peel it off, peel it off, peel it off. Okay, and then if I just show to the camera again, it does doesn't have to be absolutely dead in the middle. But there you go. And then what I do is we then just peel off the the backing without peeling the pad off. It's a good idea not to bite your nails because um, if you do it makes it more difficult to get the sticky bits off. So there we have it. We've got two foam pads stuck onto the PCB roughly in the middle both sides. Right now in this particular case um, we have a green um, backlight display so just make sure there's no um, fingerprints or anything like that on it and um, basically now we're going to attach this to the foam pads now just make sure before you do attach it to the foam pads that you've got it the right way up okay um, obviously the white side in this case there's no light going to come out of that because that's the back and um, like I say in this particular case my friend's gone for a green display so you obviously want the green display upwards and obviously make sure that the power for the LCD panel um, comes out the same side as the DC jack now one thing to be careful of is there's two pins here that stick up that's obviously the solder points for the DC jack. Like I say, just stay a tad clear of these two pins that stick up and um, try and aim to get the back edge of the panel level with the back edge of the uh, PCB. So here we go, steady hand. So I'm just going to go for this, making sure that. I can see what I'm doing, everything's level and that looks pretty good to me I'm clear of the two pins that stick upright and um, if my head doesn't get in the way of the camera I can see that the back edge is level so now what I want to do with that is just very gently push down to make sure it's secured to the pads but I don't want to use my fingers because obviously they've got um, sweat on them and I, I don't want to put fingerprints on the panel so what I'll do, I'll just get a piece of soft cloth cotton, anything like that and um, we'll push that down onto the pads as it happens, i found my cotton gloves so, like I said, I'm just going to make sure that that is pushed down nice and firm which it is. That's great. Right, I can take the gloves off. I'll just pause the camera while I do that, save a bit of time. The um, piece of blue tack you got with it, this is the time to um, unwrap that. Do, 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 do. And then break it into two bits, like so. And then roll it each bit into like a sausage about like that ish it's one bit one sausage frying to night and there we go there's another sausage so oh sorry they're at camera shop there you go two sausages right next thing to do woohoo this is a tricky bit is to get your LCD panel which is here it is I'll just back the camera up a little bit so you can see. There we go. Um, obviously, when you're handling this panel, try not to get your messy fingerprints over it. Uh, I've been sort of holding it on the edge, although I can see one fingerprint, which um, 
I shall clean off. I'll do that now with my lint glove. Just a gentle rub, just check, make sure there it is. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that, there, I've got me rubbing in camera shot now. And I'm just checking against the light to make sure that there's no other marks. Right, I'm happy with that. Okay. So the next bit is to put the LCD panel back onto the PCB with the backlight. Now, obviously, make sure it's the right way round because that's obviously got to go back into the connector. Okie dokie. Now, if I put that to one side quickly, I'll just show the camera. When you put your LCD panel on, there is two lines. Now, if I come up to there, well, let's come right in. There we go. Now, you see these two lines here? Okay, you can just see them. Try and line your LCD panel up so it's central to those outer lines, okay? That's what I'm going to try and do now. Bom, 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 bom. I'll try and pick the panel up without getting my fingerprints all over it. So, I'm just going to line it up as best I can so the basically there's a black strip here okay so you want that black strip to be central to the two outer lines sorry if I'm repeating myself but that's just the way I do stuff and then obviously this back edge of the LCD panel has got to be parallel to the LCD backlight which is parallel to the LCD PCB. I'm quite happy with that actually. So once you've done that, your two sausages that you rolled up earlier, now I'm going to put my glove on again because I don't want to put my fingers all over that piece of glass that I've just polished. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of pressure on the panel to keep it in place and then all you want to do is just get your blue tack sausage and without moving the panel is just squidge it into place okay obviously don't get it all over the glass <laughs> but that's one side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change gloves I hear you say, well why don't you polish the panel after? Well if I do that I might move it and I don't really want to move it. So again, slight pressure on the LCD display to keep it in place and then just squidge the old blue tack sausage making contact with the LCD display and the LCD backlight. And there you go, that's now in place. Double check to make sure everything's parallel. Like I say, this is my mate's transmitter, and I don't want him saying, oh, it displays like 15 degrees to the right and it's all off angle and whatever, and it's not square. But I'm happy with that. Right, I'll pause the camera for a sec, for a sec while I take my gloves off. Right, so all we're going to do now is turn it over now, it's all secured. Um, obviously don't knock it about too much, handle it carefully and we've got to reconnect that ribbon cable so basically if you hold the um, printed circuit board I, I do it like that, it's quite easy and then just um, reconnect the ribbon into the hole like that. There we go. And just make sure, if I shut the camera, just make sure that the uh, connector is parallel. There you go. Okay, so what I've done, if I just disconnect that, look. See that black edge there? Just there, look. 
make sure that's all the way home like that and then what we got to do is we got to push these tabs back in now I've got nails so I can push that in quite happily and then do the other side with my thumbnail oh, sorry there we go you see that going in so I'm trying to look at the camera and push it in at the same time so there you go that's the um, backlight fitted uh, and hopefully it's um, all in line the next stage is to put it back into the transmitter so we'll do that now I think might be a good idea Fred right like so and then we just put it back in um, slight an angle as soon as we took it out just basically tilt this end down and then go in okay and just it's a plug in the way a couple of plugs there we go it's dropped in and then we just got to very carefully line it up with the holes give it a little wiggle just little just push it down slightly and there we go all the holes have lined up okay so um, we can now go ahead and um, screw this down now find my screwdriver and there where are they? they're in here there's one So what I tend to do is when I'm putting um, metal screws into plastic casings like this I tend to turn the screwdriver in an anti-clockwise direction as if I'm undoing the screw and what you'll find is you'll find that it will it will click and just as it clicks turn it clockwise and this will stop you from stripping the thread but don't tighten them all down just yet we'll just secure it in place first So these are a bit tricky, but if you're careful and take your time, no rush, um, they're not too, not too bad. Let's get this last one in this corner. I might as well just put the um, put this to one side. This is the power for your LCD backlight. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get this. Um, jack in there, out the way for a minute. And there we are. Obviously, you don't put the middle screws in. Um, these two that originally held the. Um, LCD panel in because that's now your backlight so you don't want to be going putting screws back in there okay right I'm just going to make sure that the um, these screws are, are down snugly so you don't want to over tighten them otherwise um, they're going to strip and they're only holding down the LCD panel assembly um, just make sure there's no trap cables which looks like 
we're absolutely fine. Um, and then all we need to do now is starting in this corner here is reconnecting all the connectors. So I'm just going to pop them into place now. There's one. Two. Connectors in. Three. Four. A little bit fiddly because my fingers are so big. Uh, oh, I can hear someone calling me. Two seconds. Right, sorry about that. We should carry on. Just plugging these connectors back in. Bom 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 They're all footprinted so you you can't get them the wrong way around. There we go. Um Okay. Right, this last one, this one here, um, you don't want to plug back into where it came from. You take your Turnergy connector and um, that plugs in its place, like so. Then the other end, which is the power for your LCD panel, plugs in. Like so, and there we go, and that tucks down in there, out of the way. Make sure obviously that um, they should be okay, but just make sure that the cables are free of your um, uh, transmitter controls. So that's it, we've got all the plugs in, they're all down nice and firm. Um, next thing to do obviously is to reconnect the um, antenna circuit board. So we do that like so. This uh, terminates into a um, um, a small black connector block like so. Actually, why isn't that going down properly? Oh, I see. It's all right. It was connecting down properly. There we go. And then there should be somewhere a small black screw, which is somewhere So there we go guys. How about that then? Um, so that's everything in, everything plugged in, all looks good, nothing's come adrift. Right, so the next bit is for the back cover. My battery's not looking good on the camera, but I think we should be able to do it. Okay, so basically, um, now everything's secure and uh, our cables are nice and out of the way, we can now plug in the back part of our transmitter. So I'm just going to do that now. Right. Uh, don't forget guys, these are footprinted, so you shouldn't be able to um, you shouldn't be able to connect them into other connectors without force. Okay, there we go.
hopefully I should just have enough battery left just to finish this off. Get the paper out of the way. Right, so what I'm going to do now is screw the back back on. Now, I don't know if you can hear that clicking. If I turn the screwdriver anti-clockwise, hear that click? Just pass the click. Start to screw it back in. That way, like I said, on, especially on plastic, it avoids you stripping the threads. Boom, 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 boom. Don't forget the six screws. I can't find the oil. Where is it? That's because I've already got a screw in it. <laughs> yeah, matron. Yeah, matron. You can't put a screw in there because it's already got one in it. Oh, dear. I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just going to check, check my holes to make sure. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm trying to show you how to do these um, thick back lights on DX6i transmitters. I don't even know what I'm doing myself. It's not good though. Two screws in the same hole. But there you go. I'm just doing the antenna ones now. Now don't forget to do these. If you have two screws left over, I bet you it's going to be these two. Right, that's it done, thank god for that. Right, now what I'm doing now, I'm just going around each of the screws just to make sure that I've locked them down, which I have, I ain't got a lot of battery left. And right, now we put the batteries in, just to make sure the polarity is correct. And then place the cover. Ching! Done. Right. Take it out. Turn it over. And um, there you go. I'm going to turn it on for the first time. And see if it works. Is either going to work or it's not? Oh, yeah. There you go. Popping out right up to the camera. Uh, looks pretty good. That looks nice actually. I like that. There you go. So we now have two transmitters. If I put that one there like that, I'll get mine. Which is up here. Oh, and I think mine's a different colour. Me and mine's... There you go. If I bring them both up to the camera, you can see one Simon's just a slightly more turquoisey colour than my um, green display. But um, that's how you do it, guys. That's how you backlight your Spectrum DX6i. Right, that's it then, guys. I hope uh, that I've made your life in fitting the backlight a little bit easier especially releasing those um, connectors because they are really tight unless you get like I said that thin screwdriver and um, get it in there and they come out so much easier um, and don't forget that the power plug um, doesn't pull out that is soldered in so you need just to release the what would normally be the charge port but anyway I'm gonna shut up and um, thanks for watching catch you later